Hello, this is Psychic Treasures Unlimited here to talk to you about the new supermoon in Aquarius occurring on January 21st. This is go time and this new moon is bringing in big energies. But before we start, we want to thank everyone for being here in this space, for enjoying and sharing our videos, for giving them a thumbs up, and for commenting and subscribing to our channel. All of this helps us to get our messages out to more people and to grow. So we are grateful for all of your interactions in this beautiful online community. One quick announcement, our psychic medium Joanne will be offering 15 minute reads this year on certain days that we will announce on social media. And these readings will be for just one or two quick questions. This is something new that we are rolling out for those of you who are looking for a short session and a quick answer. We know that it is frustrating that psychic medium sessions are always booked out a few months, so this may shorten your wait time. We would clone Joanne if we could. In terms of energies, the momentum should really start picking up in this watershed year of 2023. Many of us are starting to see that we are truly in a time of great change and evolution. The planets will all be moving direct until early May, which brings a rare momentum to these next few months. This year should bring massive changes overall, so by the end of this year, we will be in a very different place than we are right now. It is so important to recognize that fear slows our ascension. Try to rise above the noise, look forward, make positive changes for yourself in your own life, find solutions, and most of all, heal. Change and shocking revelations will continue, and old systems will continue to collapse, whether we like it or fight it. When you heal, cleanse, and purge, you can face all of this with much more strength and positivity. Mars and Mercury have now moved direct, which helps to take the aggressive energy and miscommunication down a notch. But Uranus moves direct on January 22nd, which can cause shocks, revelations, and even some extreme Earth events. Uranus rules Aquarius, and the new supermoon is in Aquarius, so this is strong, revolutionary energy. We also have five planets in fixed signs, so some people will remain inflexible, stuck in their strong opinions, and you may see them throwing their weight around on things like social media. Mars in Gemini may also bring some mental agitation, as Gemini is about the mind. So if you are feeling this, this is why. Gemini often connects to communication and social media as well, so this could also lead to some arguing and agitation there, which it is obviously best to avoid. This is a supermoon because it is closer to the Earth in its orbit, which makes its energy more powerful, and this can also cause some seismic activity. This new moon is really asking us to focus on healing ourselves, almost to a point of urgency. We may feel intense emotional energies, we may notice that people who don't want to heal seem very uncomfortable, perhaps having some angry emotional outbursts, and often targeting those who are far along on their healing journey. Many health issues are also bubbling out. 
This super moon in Aquarius is asking us to change certain toxic behaviors that are keeping us in a stagnant karmic loop. To look at and heal our baggage, particularly wounds connected to the past, to our childhood. We must break these chains to move into a greater state of harmony. This sets us up for the Aquarian age of collaboration and grassroots community efforts and a great deal of technological advancements which need to come from a loving and healed place for best results. So many of you ask us, how do we heal? Try to look at and define your childhood and other trauma wounds to help heal your inner child. Look at unhealthy patterns and relationships honestly. We can help you with meditation, distant Reiki healing, a psychic medium reading to check in with spirit and your own spiritual guides, positive affirmations, sound frequencies, manifesting, positive visualization, and tapping or emotional freedom technique. Find whatever support you need, use all the healing tools available to you, and most of all, we recommend getting onto your spiritual path, asking yourself what the lessons are, and recognizing that this is earth school, a place for your soul to learn. Your soul and your spiritual advancement are what really matter in each lifetime. Therefore, we offer all our channeled spiritual classes to help you along your path. You can find a link to our website in the description box below for a description of each of our channeled classes. We will be offering the significance of past lives on March 2nd in New Providence, New Jersey, and that ticket link will go live in February. The second major theme of this new moon is a clash between the desire for freedom and sovereignty versus forces that are trying to maintain strict control. Pluto conjuncts the sun and the new moon, which asks us to look at how we use our power and where power might be out of balance, both in our relationships and on the world stage. Pluto is in Capricorn now and then moves into Aquarius. Pluto represents our emotions, the underbelly of our subconscious. It is asking us to heal before it moves into Aquarius because you can't take your baggage with you into this new energy. This is our chance to face our stuff and heal and we are being given the strength to do that in this moment, but it also feels urgent. This new moon may start giving us a taste of that new Aquarian energy, which means the old energies that are collapsing will tend to get very loud in an attempt to hold on to their power as more revelations come to the surface. Try not to get caught up in the drama but rather look at the bigger picture and the lessons we are learning. Again, Pluto is connecting to the energies of the United States where we may see some great change. January 26th brings a conjunction between Mercury, which rules communication, and Chiron, the wounded healer, which represents our deep wounds. This could be a day to watch your words, to be deliberately compassionate and loving. Again, those who are unhealed could be coming out with some spiteful words around this time. If you are a victim of this, it is not about you. It is simply projections of unhealed wounds. Let negativity and mean-spirited behavior roll off your back. 
We, in turn, should be loving, kind, and compassionate so that we do not trigger others' unhealed wounds. Many of us really want to control things because we didn't feel in control as a child. Those inner childhood wounds can affect our behavior now, and those are the wounds we want to heal. The solar flares of photonic light have been very strong lately, and they carry information that helps us to upgrade and evolve. I also suspect these solar flares could have something to do with many of the airline disruptions that we've had recently. The FAA system co coincidentally went down on the day of some of the most explosive solar flares. The new moon is about planting new seeds, and that is the energy we should be basking in and visualizing. Look toward building the new rather than focusing on the destruction we are leaving behind. Your thoughts become things in your external reality. Your thoughts are the building blocks of your entire life experience. When you realize how mighty they are and use this to your benefit, everything can shift. So remember to light your candles on Saturday and visualize all the new energies you wish to bring into the world and into your life. If you wish to have a consult to learn how to manifest with candles, just hit our website and reach out on our email to book a session. Thank you as always for your time, especially if you are still here. Please hit that like button and namaste. We wish you all a beautiful new moon from Psychic Treasures Unlimited.